All right, since we already have relatively clean data, we're going to skip data cleaning steps and go straight to modeling for now. Although we will come back and do some cleaning after uh, we do our first round of modeling so that we can see how well the cleaning helps. If you had closed out and are just coming back, as a reminder, we're going to go here to the Azure portal, go to our machine learning workspace and launch the studio. Um, this will take me a moment to start up my machines again, so I'll pause it when I get there. But assuming you followed my example previously, when we set up our compute instances, it should be stopped so that it you know, automatically stops uh, without um, continuing to charge us hours that we don't actually use it. So if yours is stopped like mine, go ahead and click on this and click start so it's ready for us to get running. It'll take it a couple minutes for that to start up. If yours is already running, then no problem. Uh, I'm going to pause this and we'll proceed to that point. All right, now that it's back up and running, I uh, can go to a few different places to get to my, uh, my experiment. I can go to experiments directly. Here's my basic summarized data experiment. I may decide just to leave that experiment as it is and create a new one. Um, so that I could, if I want to keep track of historically of that simple summarized data experiment, I think I will, uh, since I'm not going to run that one again, instead I'm going to come back here to the designer and I'm going to make a new one or a new pipeline. So I'm going to come here and say, yep, let's use that instance we just created right here, or just restarted, sorry. And uh, I think that's good for now. I'll close that out. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my insurance data set. And let's go ahead and, uh, thanks for those. I'm just going to reduce these properties windows. Let's go ahead and just go through a basic split score train evaluate model. So start in here in the search box, split data. Let's pull this in. And the idea of a split data, again, is to reduce the likelihood of overfitting, meaning reduce the likelihood that our predictions are too custom fit to the data set that we have and will not uh, be as accurate for new data, for new customers. So we split the data so that we train on a separate data set than the testing data set. So we've got the first one. Now let's go to, if I search for model, I bet I can get the rest of them all at once. I'm going to need split. Where's my train? Train. Score. Evaluate. Okay, now all I need is, a, is an algorithm to use to train the model. Uh, so I'm going to go to machine learning algorithms and I've got a list. Here's my first six are regression algorithms. And as I scroll down, I get to k-means clustering and then classification algorithms down here. So it's, I can tell, I can see this is sorted a little bit differently than their classic version, but that's just fine. I'm going to grab a basic linear regression, pull that in and might give myself a bit more room here. All right, and let's talk through this. So this is the model I use to come up with a prediction and then to evaluate how accurate my prediction is. So I've got my split data. I'm going to click on this one first and say, let's split the rows. Uh, this means there'll be a 50-50 split, 50% 50 coming out of each one of these outputs, and we'll randomly select them. Uh, we've got 1,338 rows in here. Um, that's enough data for a 50-50 split, but sometimes when you have less data, you might go up and add a bit more data to the training side, because if you're going to make an error, you'd rather have the error be on how accurate your evaluation is rather than on how accurate your training or your score is. Uh, in this case, I'll just stick with a 50-50. If you want to use the same or get the same results as me, put in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for your random seed. And uh, click on this left side. This is the side that has the first 50%. And notice when I click on it, there are various places where I can input it into. Now, not all of them are, 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 are technically or theoretically valid for what we want. But each of these that have circles over them are technically valid places to, to pull this into. What we want is to train the model with this side. So this is going to go into our train model pill. Uh, that's, I'll pull it over there. And then on this side, this is where we bring in the algorithm that will be used to train the model. 
So here I've got this little warning that says, all right, you can't run yet. You've got a parameter that needs to be set. Parameter label column is invalid. Well, click on train model and it says, what's your label column? So this is where we say, where we specify the feature that is also our label that we want to predict from the data set. So uh, let's click on edit column here and see what this does for us. Okay, so select a single column, column names. I can just grab it here from the list. Charges, that's what I want to predict. Save. Model explanations. You know, I haven't even tried this yet. Let's, let's uh, see what we get out of that. I like that. Output settings, let's use the default. Run settings, yep, we're just going to stick with that uh, default compute target that we already started up before. And now score model. This is where we're going to take the trained model that we create up here that has uh, the, uh, the, the regression coefficients or the weights for how important age, sex, BMI, region, smoker, and children those features are. Each of them play different roles in predicting the insurance charges and we want to understand and estimate the, uh, the weights of each one of those roles. So that's what train model does and the output of train model will go into score model because we'll use those weights now to make a prediction for the remaining 50% of the data right here that we didn't use for training. So again, we're using different data to train the model than we use to test the model or to score the model. And that prevents or doesn't prevent, it, it minimizes or lessens overfitting. There are other ways to lessen it even more, but we'll save that for another, another video. All right, for score model, our output, this is going to be our predictions. We're going to pull this into evaluate model, which will tell us how accurate our predictions were. So I imagine this will take a little bit longer than our last experiment. Um, again, if you don't mind spending the money or using a few more credits, you can start up a faster compute target with a few more cores, a bit more RAM, and you can get this model to run faster. But I'm going to stick with the most basic settings run this and then let's take a look at our balance and see how much we've used through these first few videos. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. Select an experiment. So let's create a new one. Um, I'm going to call this my insurance linear regression. Oh, but it doesn't want spaces. I forget that insurance charges linear regression. Too long. Oh no, it's just my browser saying it's not a word. Okay, we got that. Continue on, fill. yep, perfect, submit. So I'm gonna pause this and uh, wait till it's done running. Um, I'll give it a second and just show you where you can, let's take a look at the run details right here. So we can keep track of, uh, there you go, duration. This will refresh every little bit as you can see while it's running. All right, looks like it took six and a half minutes to uh, complete everything. And again, I'm using the, the, the most scaled down, uh, weakest compute target to keep the cost down. Um, and it's, it gives me several useful outputs here. And I want to first draw your attention to the split data. If you right click on one of these outputs and preview data, it will show you the uh, the half of the data that went to, was randomly selected for the left side, and I can also randomly or click or view the data that was randomly selected for the right side. Okay, moderately useful. Um, if you come down here to train model, if you're already a statistician, uh, data scientist, or someone who understands regression models, uh, you'll be a little disappointed that you can't examine the coefficient weights or y-intercept very easily. But that's okay because we have better ways of, uh, of uh, discovering, interpreting um, feature importance anyway, which we'll save for a later video. What you would probably be most interested in here is this score model pill. So I'm going to close out, uh, close this out, and I want to right click score model and go to preview data score data set and show you what you get. All right, our score data set, this is the predictions for the 669 rows that came here from the right side of split data. So here I show their, uh, each of their feature values, their actual charges, and then our predicted charges, which we call the scored label. As you look through that, it looks like it's pretty good to me, but we don't know exactly how good until we go down and examine the evaluate model pill. 
So I'm going to right click on this rather than just click on it and go to evaluation results. So here I get several fit metrics. Um, most commonly coefficient of determination R squared 73%. That's really good. Um, my, since my, my, uh, I know that my, my feature charges, I can see is highly skewed, positive skewed or right skewed, which means that when it comes to examining error, I want to use root mean squared error over mean absolute error. So on average, I'm off by about $6,100. Um, yeah, sounds about right. Not bad overall. So my model is built. This created a new pipeline run. So I'm going to click here on pipelines. And you can see down here, I've got all my runs from each experiment. So this is the new experiment I just created. Here's the run. If I ever want to come back to this and see the results, I can come back here. It's all, it's, the run is completed. I'll never have to rerun it again to see these results. Uh, so that's how we build a model. Um, and we'll, we'll uh, stop this video here and proceed with some data cleaning after this.